Congratulations! You stormed the gates of Voletaria, traversed the Stone Fang Mines, climbed the Tower of Latria, accessed the Shrine of Storms, and suffered the Valley of Defilement. You came face to face with the Old One and earned the right to choose whether you're going to save the world or condemn it with the power of souls. You have beaten the game. You make your decision, the credits rolled, and you're back in the Nexus. Indeed, welcome to New Game Plus. As you can see, the game does not necessarily finish when it ends, and its end is only just the beginning. Playing New Game Plus and beyond is just the next test of your will, your might, and your skill, as you try to become the true Slayer of Demons. But what is New Game Plus? How does it work? How far does it go? We're going to answer these questions and more as we take on the challenge of beating Demon Souls Remake in its maximum difficulty possible. We will talk about what New Game Plus is, then we're going to go over the build that we will be using for this challenge, and finally, you will witness a boss rush of every single boss of the game being defeated in its maximum difficulty. I will leave timestamps in the description of this video so you can skip to the part you're interested in, or maybe you want to skip to a specific boss. In any case, let's get started. Essentially, New Game Plus is a reset of the game after you beat it. As a player, you're able to keep your weapons, your spells, levels, and consumables, but all key items and world events are reset. You get to play the game again, but at an increased difficulty level. Enemies are stronger, bosses are deadlier, and you get many more souls for each one you slay. If you prove yourself capable and you beat New Game Plus, the game resets again into the next game cycle that is even harder than the one before, that is called New Game Plus 2. You can then beat New Game Plus 2 and move on to the next cycle, and it goes on and on and on, with the game getting harder every time that you beat it. In order to understand in which game cycle you currently are in, you need to open up the menu, go to settings, and down to exit game. Before you accept, you will see information on the character that you're currently playing. You will see the name, the soul level, the starting class, how many souls you currently carry, the playtime of this character your current location, and finally, how many times you have beaten the game with this character. If you start a fresh character, a new game, you will see that it says Games Completed 0. If you beat the game once, it will say Games Completed 1. This means that you are in New Game Plus. If you beat the game again, it will say Games Completed 2 meaning that you are in New Game Plus 2, etc, etc. Here, you see that I have completed the game a total of 6 times. This must mean that I am currently in New Game Plus 6. Well, yes, but not really. You see, there is a cap, a limit on the number of New Game Plus that you have access to. Do not get me wrong. You can beat the game with the same character 100 times if you desire, but there is a stop to the game getting harder. Eventually, you will be playing the game at the same difficulty no matter how many times you beat it. The maximum difficulty of Demon's Souls Remake is New Game Plus 5. After that, it will not get any harder. So, in order for you to understand, New Game Plus 6 is the same as New Game Plus 5. Furthermore, New Game Plus 100 is also the same as New Game Plus 5. I will repeat this. Once you beat New Game Plus 5, the game will not get any harder ever again. Now that we know this, exactly how hard is New Game Plus 5? Let's take a look. This chart that I created represents the difficulty of the game in the different game cycles. Please understand, these values are approximate, they are not exact. 
I do not have the tools or the mathematical knowledge to get exact results. I can, thanks to basic logic and percentages, reach this approximate conclusion. With that out of the way, we see that the first difficulty is new game. This is the first game cycle and the one everyone goes through on a new character. This is the basic difficulty of the game. If you beat the first game cycle, you move on to new game plus. This is the second game cycle and the most important one. New game plus has the highest difficulty increase out of all the game cycles. Not only is the increase high, but it is also inconsistent among different enemy types. This means that not all enemies get harder at the same rate. For example, the draglings in the gates of Voletaria get twice as hard, a 100% increase. But other enemies later in the game can see difficulty increases of 200 or 300%. This is three or four times harder than the basic game cycle. The same happens with bosses. The phalanx gets harder, but it's not that big of a difference. On the other hand, old King Alant will be hitting you like a truck. After this, things get much easier. If you beat New Game Plus, you will find that New Game Plus 2 is only 7% harder than New Game Plus. This is nothing. Things get harder, but very little. New Game Plus 3 is only 3% harder than New Game Plus 2. New Game Plus 4 is only 4% harder than New Game Plus 3. And finally, New Game Plus 5 is only 5% harder than New Game Plus 4. In total, the difference in difficulty from New Game Plus to New Game Plus 5 a full 5 game cycles is only 19%. The conclusion is clear. New Game Plus is definitely the hardest difficulty because it has the highest increase, but also because your character build will not be completed at that time, and you will be punished if you do not have a planned build. On the other hand, while New Game Plus 5 is 19% harder than New Game Plus, by that time you will have a fully optimized Soul Level 120 build, and if you want, you can even level up further to make things easy. With the objective of beating the game in New Game Plus 5, we are going to need a good build. My choice is obvious, we are going to use a magic build. I believe that this is the strongest build in the game, especially for PvE, with high damage at very little risk. Please note, in the description of the video, I will leave a link to a full breakdown of the Soul Level 120 magic build that I used as the base for my run in New Game Plus 5. Honestly, Soul Level 120 is enough to beat New Game Plus 5, but the extra levels help with consistency. Specifically for this challenge, I used the following stat block. I finished my run with soul level 177, with 63 vitality, 40 intelligence, 15 endurance, 16 strength, 16 dexterity, 50 magic, 50 faith, and 7 luck. The two important stats to note here are the 63 vitality and the 50 faith. The rest is what you would find in the Soul Level 120 build. We used the extra vitality to increase consistency and survivability. I ran through this challenge mostly in human form to take advantage of full health. Otherwise, there are a few enemies that have the capacity to one-shot you, and that can become frustrating. I decided to boost my faith to 50 in order to use a pushed Talisman of Beasts. With 50 Faith and 50 Intelligence, the Talisman of Beasts gets me more damage than the Insanity Catalyst without cutting my MP in half. This was very useful throughout the whole run. If you're going to use the Soul Level 120 build, the Insanity Catalyst is by far the best one to use. In regards to equipment, we are using the basic magic things. 
Phosphorescent Pole and Fragrant Ring for MP Regeneration, Crisp Blade, Monk Wrappings and the Ring of Magical Sharpness for additional magic damage, the Talisman of Beast for highest base magic damage, and a Buckler for some situational parries. Make sure that you have plenty of fresh and aged spice. We are going to be consuming a lot of these. In regards to spells, I like to use Fire Spray, Soul Ray, Firebolt, and Homing Soul Arrow. For miracles, I run Heal, Evacuate, and Second Chance. This is a list that covers all of the options I need and is very efficient for most bosses. I may switch a spell here and there depending on my situation, but this is my list most of the time. Remember to see the description of the video if you want a full breakdown of this build and how to achieve it step by step. And so, I set out to vanquish demons. I will organize each boss by archstone in order. If you are interested in a specific one, be sure to skip ahead, but I recommend you watch them all, as the experience is well worth it. Let's begin.
as you have seen, this was not hard at all. The build is truly an overpowered machine of destruction and there is not enough difficulty increase to keep up with our destructive power. With new game plus 5 completed, we cannot go any higher. There is nothing more powerful. At this point, we truly are the Slayer of Demons. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your time and I hope that I get to see you on the next one.